welcomes to James Brown on the eve of the Feel Good Tour of Australia. Hello. I'm Mia from ABC TV's Recovery Program. It's a youth lifestyle show. Um, I just wondered if I could show you some uh, questions that youth have asked you. We've asked them on the street what they would like to ask you. Can I come up and show you? Yeah, you still, you know, I, I don't really have to see it for that because no, I... No, you do, yeah. I, think you do. I do have to see it. I don't yeah. have to. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I think she's pushing okay, this program. you just look through there. Okay, James, when is your new hit coming? Uh, we have a new, new album out now called Live at the Apollo. 1995. I produced it and, and paid for it myself and the record company that I was formerly with, uh, I say formerly because Scotty Brothers, don't, they don't push my record so we moved on to another company. Uh, it's it's out and I just got to grow to this area, you know. I see. World distribution. Because when I make a record, it has to be distributed worldwide and uh, Scotty Brothers is too small for that, so. But they're a good company. They're just so I had now to you've got on. bigger distribution. Yes, we were thinking of either one as a polygram. Right. Okay. One more. How do you feel about people ripping your music off and sampling it into their own work? Hey. I'm glad you did because I mean I have an old age pension going for me. One of these days. No, I think it's very, very good. I'm very flattered that after all these years that um, they can realize that the real thing never grows old. Here you go. How'd you get to be so funky? Being very poor and being very uh, oppressed by society itself, making you stand up when you know that you're right, so it get, you get down on it, you know? Yeah, you have to. You gotta be dominant. Okay. Next one. Hi, how much do you spend on your hair a year and who does it? Well, I spend every day on my hair. <laughs> That's 365 days unless it's a leap year. And uh, we have different people doing my hair. On the road, I have a young lady named by Miss Martha High. My greatest uh, hair, hair stylist and, and companion was my wife, who I lost about uh, right at five months ago. I'm always impressed. I'm impressed until my kid, I can wake up in the morning, my kid can say, I'm going to run for the president of the United States and be the president of the United States. That's when I'm not impressed. I'm impressed when. Uh, a little white kid don't know what soul is because he hasn't been allowed to know. I started with a second, a seventh grade education. My daddy went to second grade. My mother went to the fourth grade. But I made a, I made a contribution. Thank God I have the biggest production in the world over any single individual ever lived. You know, but that don't make me. What make me is the smiles and love that, and respect that I get from people and respect that I give back to them and hopefully we can make it a better place people ever want.